Oh yeah. I decided not to pull the axles. Um, so I just wire brushed all that with a drill. Sanded it down a little bit, cleaned it. <coughs> and uh, shot some paint on it. So anyway, we got that done. I'll get the other side tore apart and cleaned up. And then we can jump on the front brakes, get them pads and rotors on. We're, we're caliper. Can't even talk to that. Alright, so I'll get by with y'all and get this done. Alright guys, we're back out here on the 65 today. I quit on the thing yesterday, I got aggravated cleaning them daggone backing plates. But anyway, we got them wire brushed, cleaned all up, and painted. And got the shocks, or the original shocks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get new ones. Back on the track locator, it's in place. And this side over here is ready. I'm waiting on parts. I thought I had all the parts to put the brakes on, but I didn't. Um, so anyway, they'll be here next day or so. So we got started on the front. And uh, been one of them days. So I did get the uh, sway bar off the 78 it's just my script held up there and I got new bushings for it that ought to help some I would think anyway maybe we'll see but this side's done um calipers on pads all that good stuff and then I had to run you know new lines so that's what I've done and then my brake line will run inside the frame rail. And somehow or another, I'm not sure yet, it'll come out and go up to the master, tee off and go to the other side. Probably follow this cross member around. And I gotta drill, drill this hole up here for the line to go through. But anyway, it's been one of them days. Dropped the dag on caliper, knocked the chunk out of the hand out of my hand. It ain't a big deal, hell I bleed every day anyway. But it broke the dag on when it fell. It broke the dag on bleeder bolt off. And uh getting that out is a joke. So what the deal? I broke a drill bit off in it. So the hell with that thing. I think I'm gonna just go get two new calipers and be done with it. Then I'll have all new brakes all the way around on it. Um, trying to save a dollar cost you every damn time. So anyway, I think that's what I'm, I'm gonna call the parts house and tell them to get me to if they don't have them. We'll pick them up tomorrow when the rest of the parts get here. And See if we can't get a little something done. Um, I say I'm gonna order order all new tie rod ends and stuff. Go ahead and change all this stuff while I'm at it. Cause all this is off the 78, and it's all tight. But I ain't doing all this work and not at least start out with some new stuff, somewhat new anyway. So anyway, that's what we're up to. Gonna get back on scraping his chassis. Um getting that old undercoating crap off in the mud and the dirt and I mean I made it up to right there under the cab. So when you get at it it's not that bad to do. Um but it just looks I mean that old undercoating right there it looks like rust just been covered up but it's really not it's just that old undercoating mess so anyway we'll get on that I'd order some new shocks for the front and but other than that that's pretty much pretty much it I mean I've got the brake pads and all for the front the new lines there's the 
passenger side line and there's line for the rear end back there. New wheel cylinders, we got those. Then there's the pads. And um, the shoes are there, drums. Um, when I ordered the kit for spring, new springs and all, I had the understanding that that was for both wheels. I should have known better for that price. So anyway, we got another set of springs coming. And so that'll be, and I'll be able to hook the parking brake mess up, all that good junk. So, but anyway, there's, there's what we got. So now I think I'm just going to order two new calipers for the front, and we'll be done with all of it. At least it'll be new. The master cylinder is going to be, we found one for 70. Chevelle that come from the factory with manual disc brakes on the front and drum brakes on the back. So that that master cylinder ought to do just fine. So it'll be in today, tomorrow. I'm not sure. I've been down there and ordered too much mess back and forth. I don't even know now. But they'll call me. So, but anyway, that's really in stuck back under it. Everything's looking good there. And uh what was amazing to me, I may have told y'all, I don't even know. That U joint that's in that 65 drive shaft measures to be the exact same as the yoke on the 78. I would have never thought that in all my born days. I figured I'd have had to fight for a U joint, you know, some crazy one or something, but it measures out to be the same, fits right in the yoke fine. So, luckily, we're good there. Anyway, guys, I think we're gonna get right and call it today. Is uh, I do got intake gaskets ordered for the 383. Takes uh, these things got some huge runners and standard standard intake gaskets. Leave about an eight inch gap at the top, so they're not just not tall enough. So I gotta have some 1205 or 1206. Fell pros got them ordered they should be here tomorrow I think and there's one intake that may be the one I'm going to use I'm not sure that's the raised plant on Victor Jr. I don't even know where the other one's at somewhere around here oh, it's, in the, it's in the blast cabinet can't even see it dusty so anyway that's one of the two we're going to use and I may wind up putting this motor in that truck. I don't know. I think it's a little much, but I really rather stick the little 327 in there. That'd be all in the world. Kind of error correct and be all cool. But, all right, guys. I think I'm going to get right and go in the house, give me a cup of coffee, and call it a day. All right. We'll see y'all later. Have a good one.